Hello, hello, friends. Today we're playing golf hockey. I know you missed me, and here I am. Hi, friends. Today we are going to try to cheer you up. I play for the black puck, Joe for the blue puck, and Snow White, I don't think, needs any comments. <laughs> you know why Joe has a blue puck? Because he's gay, lol. <laughs> oh, my God, Trump, you're not changing. Hi, everybody. Obama's right. We're going to try to make you feel good, but also relaxed. Yes, yes. I am who I am. I am real. All right, let's get to the game, guys. Let's not listen to stupid Donald. They're just cowards, so they start talking about the game right away. How long do I have to wait for you, monkey? The game's just started, and I'm already a winner, you who. Ha ha, you're a fool. I'm still waiting for you, if you remember, Harry. Wow, guys, he's back again. Ha ha, what are you doing, Obama? Are you lost? Shut your mouth, Donald. You're so annoying. Can't you shut up a little? You're making me lose my way. I told you he's a witch. He's always making us lose. He's got a tongue with no bones. He never gets tired. Yeah, yeah, you lying losers are just jealous of me. That's your problem. If there was anything to envy Donald. Of course, a handsome man like me and a pumped up, smart, talented man would be the envy of any man. Even an ant would be jealous. Ha uh ha. -huh. Obama, did you hear that? How did he get so cocky about himself? I told you I was real. And I got here first again, so I'm waiting for you losers. Well, what can I say? The map is pretty easy. You just need to get used to the game a little. But I liked it all. Yeah, Barack. I liked the game, too. If the witch was quiet, it would be great. Well, I'm always the first one there. Joe's the second, and you hairy monkey can barely make it. Woo-hoo. I hope Snow White Ass loses this time. That's not gonna happen, monkey. I'm always first. I told you, you can't beat me. Well, let's go, you who? What's up? Who's first? Even at the beginning of the road, you're behind me. Oh, Donald, you must have forgotten that there's also me. Now you and I are going to compete and see who wins. Joe, are you standing in the back? Stay there and don't say a word. One, two, and I'm already ahead. Haha, <laughs> you're good, Obama, but too bad you're gonna lose tonight. I'm gonna go wait for you guys on the other map. You who, who's the winner? Oh my god, he really beat us, Joe? I'm shocked. Why is he so lucky? I honestly don't know how this happened. Maybe he's some kind of psychic. Okay, he got lucky one or two times, but not three. Is that possible? Aha, uh -huh, guys. Learn while you have a teacher like that in front of you. The teacher teaches, not brags about his accomplishments. Donald, you're not a proper teacher. Oh, Joe, I'm the realest of all the real teachers. And we're lucky to have you. Yeah, yeah, Donald, is that what you were going to say? Notice, Obama, I didn't say that, ha ha, but you are right, you are lucky to have a teacher like me. Oh, shut the hell up, Trump. So you guys are gonna see Harry Macaque lose to me for the fourth time, ha 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 ha. Oh my god, Obama, it's his language that's got us in trouble. Oh, if I could, I'd rip out his tongue and feed it to the dogs, ha ha. That would be very entertaining, huh, Donald? Uh-oh, someone took offense, ha ha, sorry, Obama, it's not my fault I'm so good at winning every game. Yes. Yes! 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 Of course I came in first, Donald. I'll win you back, ha ha. Oh God, thank you for hearing my prayers. I'm happy for you, Barack, that Donald can't cross over to the other side. Well, now it's our turn. Why are you so happy? I just gave in to you, that's all. I just felt sorry for Obama. He almost cried, so I gave in. Hey guys, I have a cool story about Trump when he was young. Oh really? Can't wait to hear it. Tell us. Well, it was back in 1960 when Trump was just 14 years old. His father, Fred, was a successful businessman, you know. But here's what happened. Come on, Biden, don't keep us waiting. You see, Trump really wanted a laptop to do his business deals, as he called them. But his father wasn't that generous and denied him. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how it all went. Trump, let Biden finish his story. It'll still be fun. All right, Trump, without exaggeration. I can't call all of this business deals without a laptop. He decided to play a mean prank on his father. He took a couple of beer cans, ripped them apart, and then smeared his father's shoes with these shards. What? Oh, Biden, are you sure this is true? Absolutely, Obama. When Trump's father discovered his shoes in that state, he was just stunned. I can imagine his face. Stop it, Biden. It was a really foolish thing to do, and I deeply regret it. I can't believe Trump did something like that. Wow. Guys, are you really presidents? You're not kidding. Yes, yes, we are presidents, Obama. And, you know, stories from our lives bring us closer together. Well, even though it was a long time ago, I learned an important lesson from this story. Never do stupid things against your parents. Especially when your dad took a log and chased you all over the yard. Ha <laughs> ha. 
He was running with his eyes so wide his heels were glistening. Oh, forget it, Joe. My ass is starting to hurt again. I can only imagine how red your ass was, Donald. <laughs> you know, when we were kids, I played a funny prank on my friend Biden. I made soup for him and it had worms in it. Wait, what? I didn't know there were worms in the soup. Well, I thought it would be funny to see your reaction when you found out. You looked so pale, you were about to throw up. That sounds like a typical Trump prank. I can't believe you even ate soup with worms, Joe. Yeah, it was a real lesson for me. But Barack, you know that Trump always comes up with something unusual. Well, I'm glad we can laugh about it now. But Joe, you're still my friend, even if I sometimes play pranks. Of course, Trump, we have always been and will always be friends, even after the worm soup. Haha. <laughs> I hope you didn't have a girlfriend at the time, or if she found out about this situation, she would have dumped you. <laughs> Obama, I had a girlfriend, and Trump decided to tell her the situation and embellished it. So I asked for more soup and said my girlfriend should taste this masterpiece. I don't regret it. I wanted to break up with her, but I didn't know how to tell her. So thanks, Donald, for the great soup. Oh my God, Joe, I'm never eating off the same plate with you, LOL. Ha ha, he brushed his teeth ten times a day, but the worms between his teeth didn't come out for a long time. Oh my God, Donald, if that's true, I won't eat around him anymore. God, that's disgusting. I brush my teeth a lot, and I got a couple of worms stuck between my teeth, but after a month, I got them cleaned out. I brush my teeth a lot, and I got a couple of worms stuck between my teeth, but after a month, I got them cleaned out. Hey guys, remember when we were kids? Those were some wild times. Oh, absolutely. I have fond memories of playing basketball with my friends in the neighborhood. It taught me discipline and teamwork. And let's not forget about all the mischief we got into, like the time we decided to build a makeshift clubhouse in my backyard. It was our secret hideaway. Haha, <laughs> that's nothing compared to the pranks I used to pull. One time I convinced Biden that the flowers in my garden were actually alien plants. He was so scared. I always had a knack for storytelling, Trump. But remember that time we all went camping together? It was such an adventure. Oh, how could I forget? We were all trying to set up tents, and Trump here couldn't figure it out for the life of him. We had to help him out. Hey now, I'm a fast learner, but you guys were always there to lend a helping hand. We had some great times growing up, didn't we? Absolutely, Trump. Despite our political differences, we can always look back on our childhood friendship and remember the fun we had. Oh, those were the good times. If we could go back to childhood again, it would be a lot of fun. Oh, bro, Donald still got it up his ass. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, that's funny. You're just too serious, and I'm still a happy and cheerful boy. That it's a boy. That's for sure, bro. Haha, -huh. guys. I recently discovered this new game called Beam NG Drive. It's all about realistic vehicle physics and driving simulations. Have you tried it? Oh yeah, Barack. I've heard of it. I heard it's a great stress reliever. You can just sit back and watch cars crash into each other in the most realistic way possible. Beam NG Drive. Never heard of it. Is it some kind of liberal hoax? Well, that's the beauty of the game, Donald. You can play it however you like. It's a sandbox environment, so you can do whatever you want. No, Donald, it's not a hoax. It's actually quite addictive. You can crash cars, test drive different vehicles, and even create your own scenarios. I heard it's great for testing out different driving maneuvers and seeing how cars react in different situations. It's like a virtual driving school. Well, I don't need a virtual driving school. I'm the best driver, believe me. No one drives better than me. Sure, Donald. We've all seen your perfect driving skills. But seriously, Beam and G Drive is not just about driving. It's also a great tool for learning about vehicle dynamics and engineering. Yeah, and you can even modify the cars, add new parts, and customize them to your liking. It's like having your own virtual garage. That sounds like a lot of work. I prefer to just drive without having to worry about all the technical stuff. And the best part is that it has a strong community of modders who create new content. So the game is constantly evolving and improving. I think we should try to play it. I think it's going to be tough. It's not easy, but it's very useful. If something happens in your life, you can solve the problem easily. He's right, Donald. Knowledge is power. Yeah, guys, I know that. That's why I beat you in the game so easily. Oh my God, Donald's not going to miss a chance to show off. Who says I'm bragging? I'm just showing off my excellence in games. Uh, well, then let's make the next game not golf, but Mario Kart. No problem, Joe. Guys, next game of Mario Kart, I'm going to show these losers how to drive. Bye, everybody.